All right, let's check your work for step one, identifying the conclusion and premise statements. Did you see the indicator words here? We've got hence, since, and it follows. Both hence and it follows are both conclusion indicator words. We've got kind of a redundancy in conclusion indicators. They're really wanting to kind of pile on us. Like, look, I'm really pointing you towards the conclusion. The conclusion here is that she must want to sing country songs. That means that the other two statements are premise statements. So Miley sings what she wants and she sings country songs are our two premise statements. Now it doesn't matter if you have your premise statements in this order. Mine are just randomly ordered. I took them as they appeared in the argument. But you do want to make sure that you have the conclusion statement as she must want to sing country songs. And if you don't, you're going to want to stop what you're doing, go back and work through the other steps using uh, these two premises and the conclusion that appears on your screen. Otherwise, you won't know whether you did any of the other steps correctly. So I know that seems like a pain, but trust me, it's worth it because this is how you're going to learn. So if you've got the conclusion statement as she must want to sing country songs, you are rip roaring ready to move on to the next step in the lecture. If you haven't, um, if you don't have that as your conclusion statement, Rewrite the argument with these as your premises and your conclusion and work through the steps again so that you can determine how well you're working through those other steps.